In 1850, Peter Burnett, California's first governor, signed into law the creation of the state's original counties. One of the original 27 was Yuba County. Since that signing, an identity and true definition of community in Yuba County has evolved over many generations. Once at the center of the gold rush era, Yuba County has matured through the decades and centuries to become one of the most beautiful places to visit and call home. Today, more than 70,000 residents live within our community and over 200 businesses are part of our everyday life. Our community is fortunate to share in an abundance of nature's resources. The watershed in Yuba County is critical to our success and more importantly, to our survival. As demonstrated in years past, the confluence system through our rivers due to massive storms can also result in devastation. Nearly 50 years ago, our fathers had the foresight to build Bullard's Bar Dam, helping to control the flow of water down the Yuba River and provide a resource to our farmers. As part of the flood control equation, stability in our levee system over the last several decades was in need of significant repair. Beginning approximately five years ago, the leadership of Yuba County, the Yuba County Water Agency, Reclamation District 784, and the Three Rivers Levee Improvement Authority, along with the support of federal, state, local agencies, environmental partners, the private sector, and a team of dedicated women and men embarked on a mission to improve flood control in Yuba County by strengthening and rebuilding our levees. While there's much work to be done, we're pleased to share with you the following documentary of our levee improvement program to date. Please join me on a journey that began over 100 years ago and continues to make history today. Take a step back as you take in the beauty of Yuba County. It's easy to recognize the more relaxed pace of life in communities that treasure their history as well as their future. Take a close look at more than 70,000 people who live, work, and play in Yuba County. In order to understand where Yuba County started, you have to turn to the east, where the rolling hills break into the Grand Mountain Range of the Sierra Nevada. Deep in that beautiful region of Yuba County, you will find its glimmering source of life and livelihood. The three branches of the Yuba River weave their way out of the mountains, joining together to form the mighty Yuba. It's during this journey down the mountain that the rolling waters of the Yuba River serve other purposes such as generating power, providing recreation, and irrigating farmland. Eventually, as it follows its path onto the valley floor, the Yuba River joins up with the formidable Feather River on the outskirts of the historic city of Marysville. But to understand the role of these two rivers in today's Yuba County, we need to step back more than 150 years in time. Yuba County's very roots run deep into California history. 
The gold seekers of 1849 panned and mined in the hills above Marysville, and the town's growth exploded to serve the growing industry. But it did mark the start of a diverse community that rose up through sheer grit and ingenuity. Of course, it was those same characteristics that changed the way people mined for gold, which eventually ushered in hydraulic mining into Yuba County and further up the river in Nevada County. Shovels of dirt became rivers of mud and silt that clogged the Yuba River and forever altered its course and character. Yuba County would face the consequences for decades to follow. Since the early 1800s, Yuba County has been hit by more than 20 severe floods. But the granddaddy of them all came in December of 1955. Unprecedented runoff due to heavy storms caused the rivers to crest quickly and inundate the entire region. On Christmas Eve of that year, men stood shoulder to shoulder in a heroic effort to shore up Marysville's levee and save the city. Marysville became a virtual island, but there would be no celebration as the surrounding communities were devastated by the rising water. Yuba City was especially hard hit with a horrible loss of life and property. While the flood of 1955 was caused by the uncontrolled flow of the Yuba and Feather Rivers, future floods would test the region's levees. In 1986, the Yuba River broke through the levee protecting the community of Linda, just south of Marysville. Then in 1997, another levee failed, this time on the Feather River near Arboga. For those who experienced those difficult times, there are still many memories that understandably haunt their minds. But instead of giving in to a kind of despair, the people of Yuba County were bolstered by a deep resolve. We can come out of this stronger. The important work of controlling the flow of the Yuba River actually began following the floods of 1955. There was concerns that nothing was being done in the Yuba County by the state or federal governments. The state was working on um, Oroville, the feds were working on, on Folsom on the American River, and on the Yuba there was no action. What was really important is, I call them the county fathers, they had this vision of an agency that could produce uh, water supply and flood protection on the Yuba River. And uh, they ended up creating the vision for the Yuba County Water Agency and the people within Yuba County are benefiting from that today. The Yuba County Water Agency established an important partnership with the California Department of Water Resources to develop new ways to regulate the flow of the Yuba River. One vital outcome of that partnership was the creation of forecast coordinated operations, which enhanced communications between federal, state, and local water agencies. The program combines improved data gathering with advanced weather and river forecasting, which is used to control the release of water, thus minimizing the risk of river channels exceeding their capacity. If you look at the Yuba River, I look at it as a blessing and a curse. On a day like today, it's a blessing because we have a, a very sufficient supply of, of water. But when the darker side of the Yuba River rages and challenges all efforts to control its flow, the region's levee system stands as the next defense for Yuba County's communities. Every dollar spent, every study launched, and every decision made was weighed against the safety and well-being of 40,000 residents who made their homes along the southern stretch of Yuba County. Following the 1997 flood, the Yuba County Water Agency initiated a study on how to improve flood protection strengthen public safety, and provide greater economic security for residents of the area. In 2003, the California Department of Water Resources and the Army Corps of Engineers completed an important study that looked at how the levees maintained by Reclamation District 784 would withstand a 100-year flood event. The results were grim, as the weaknesses of the levees, both above ground and below, were exposed. 
In 2003, Yuba County and Reclamation District 784 created the Three Rivers Levy Improvement Authority, a joint powers agency responsible for achieving 200-year flood protection by financing and constructing levy improvements on RD-784 levies. All the improvements that we are making on these levies for South Yuba County are state-of-the-art, high-technology levies. Uh, they are the best that we can build today. Plans were laid out for a four-phase levy improvement effort on 29 miles of RD-784 levies. Of course, funding the needed improvements was a challenge for a region that had suffered great economic losses. An initial solution was found in public-private partnerships with local developers which brought about the investment needed to launch the levy improvement project. Work began in 2004 along the Yuba River with the construction of a slurry wall reaching 50 feet in depth and spanning nearly a half a mile. This included strengthening the levee at the site of the 1986 break. The efficiency of the Western Pacific Interceptor Canal levee, which stretches east of Highway 70 from Olivehurst to Plumas Lake, was bolstered by more than one quarter mile of slurry wall. The work included improvements uh, designed to combat water that may seep through or under the levee. During this phase, the crowns on both the canal and the lower Bear River levees were raised. The Bear River setback levee along Yuba County's southern edge was the crowning jewel of the first three phases achieving civil engineering excellence that garnered several prestigious industry awards. A partnership with River Partners resulted in the planting of one million shrubs and trees, creating 600 acres of wildlife habitat, benefiting several threatened and endangered species, including the graceful Swainson's hawk. The fourth and final phase of construction would prove to be Three River Levees Improvement Authority's most progressive engineering accomplishment. However, preparations for this final stage coincided with the collapse of the housing market and an economy that weakened even further. Development that helped finance the first three phases of levee repairs slowed to a crawl, putting timely completion of the project in jeopardy. When we look at history and what they did with Bullard's Bar Dam, we look at this project kind of the same way. It's an investment in the future, and in order for Yuba County to be able to lift themselves up economically, this project had to be finished. The Yuba County Board of Supervisors stood together in a commitment to keep levy improvements on track. Following months of careful negotiations, Yuba County was able to access over $138 million in California Department of Water Resources bond revenues by coming up with over $53 million in matching funds. Yuba County and Yuba County Water Agency joined together to acquire loans for the bulk of the funds, with landowners and Reclamation District 784 providing additional funding. So Phase 4 moved forward, a six-mile-long setback levy, the largest of its kind in the state sitting amid 13 miles of levee improvements along the Feather River. One of the requirements that we have to build a setback levee, and in this case on the Feather River project, we have to acquire property to have the increased floodway. And in some cases, the floodway has been increased over a half mile watt in width. Uh, for this project, we ended up acquiring over 1,600 acres of property. Uh, we had very willing uh, property owners that worked with us uh, as we negotiated through this. Overall, the 13 miles of Feather River levee improvements include 4 million cubic yards of soil, enough to fill a football field one half mile high. 8 miles of soil Bennonite slurry wall, reaching 50 to 70 feet in depth. 50 relief wells and approximately 1,600 acres of expanded floodway. The old substandard levee is being removed to allow for expansion and restoration of the floodway. 
Three Rivers is nearing the completion of our levy program. We see the completion of our overall program being towards the end of 2010 or very early in the spring of 2011. The setback area, which required the acquisition of 1,600 acres of agricultural land, will continue to benefit the community and eventually be used for recreational, agricultural, and environmental purposes. It's hard to believe that we're completing this full phase, all four phases of the South County. It's hard to believe that after over $400 million that we are coming to a close of public safety and we can start moving on to the next level, which is economic development and, you know, quality of life issues for the people of the South County. I'm grateful for the, the gifted people that we work with and uh, the talent they brought and, most important, I'm grateful for the political will it took to get this project off the ground. At the end of the day, more than 40,000 residents will benefit from some of the strongest flood protection in Northern California. So take another step back and take in the beauty and possibilities of Yuba County, a community that just keeps getting stronger.